Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to design eight delayed button animations for your custom Divi header call to action. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so for this tutorial, we need to download the Theme Builder Pack, and here it is. Now, this Theme Builder Pack is absolutely free, so all you have to do is to go to the link, which I'll add in the video description below, and then you want to download this layout. So I'm gonna click here on Download Pack, and you can see it's downloaded here on my computer. I'm gonna go to the folder, show the finder, and I'm just gonna open this. So when you open it, what you're going to see is a bunch of files like this. So the file that we need is this 404 template. So now let's head over to our website and install this template. So I'm gonna come over here to Divi, Theme Builder, and then I'm gonna click here on Portability. Okay, so here on Portability, you wanna make sure you click on Import, and then I'm just gonna drag my file over here. Now that is that 404 page template that I showed you. So here it is, I'm gonna click Import Theme Builder template, and I'm just gonna say Import. All right, so now that we've installed this, the next step now is to start working on the custom header. So before we do that, I just wanna make sure I save, and then I'm just gonna click here on this little icon, and this is gonna take us straight to our header. So as you can see on this template, we already have this pricing on there already, so that's where we're gonna go in and style it and pretty much add all our animations. So what we need to do now is to uh, Go to our button and click uh, click here on this gear icon, design. And I'm, I'm going to come all the way down here to animation and then I'm gonna use bounce. So this is the first example that I'm going to use. Now let's go ahead and stylize this and just make it uh, work the way we want. So the animation here is bounce. The animation direction, we can set this to down. So you can see here it's coming down and then bouncing. And then the next step is to set our animation duration. So I'm gonna set this to about 1100 and the delay to 1500. So we don't want this button to come right away. So you can see here we have a delay and then it comes on. Uh, animation uh, starting opacity, we're gonna set this to 100%. So now you can see the animation there it looks really cool. All right, so pretty much that's our first example. I'm gonna go ahead and save this. Okay, so moving on, let's try a different one here. So I guess what we could do here is to duplicate this so that we can go in and make our changes to each individual one. Okay, so I'm gonna click here on our settings as well as we did before. All right, so for this next example, what we need to do is to go into our row settings and go into the second column, click on advanced, custom CSS, and we are going to add some CSS to our main element here, like that. And by the way, this code, I can, uh, I'll leave a link to the post in the show notes below so that you can follow step by step. All right, so for this style, we're going to do an animation which makes the button flip. So now let's go to the button settings. So I'm gonna save this, save this one more time. And then I'm gonna come over here to my button settings, design, and then I'm gonna go to animation. So our animation style here needs to be flip. So I'm gonna go ahead and select it. And then here it needs to flip center. And then I'm also going to set my animation duration. And for my animation duration here, we're gonna set this to 1500. And our delay is going to be, uh, let's go with 1000. Right, so now with the animation intensity, this is where we're going to bump this up to about 400%. And then our starting opacity is great at 100. Okay, so pretty much this is our final design. There we go, so you can see it's spinning there. All right, so I'm gonna save, and let's move on to the next one. Now for this example, we're going to flip horizontal. So uh, again, let's just duplicate this one here. And uh, this one here, what it needs is again a perspective. In fact, you know what? Let's go with the one where I've added the perspective, which is this one here on the bottom. So I'm gonna duplicate this and uh, let's go into our settings. So we just wanna make sure that uh, we've set everything correct here. So on my second column here, advanced custom CSS. Yes, so we've got our perspective there at 150. That's great. And the next step now is to go into our button settings. So I'm going to save this and then save it one more time. And then over here on my button settings, 
I'm going to start here with my alignment. So I'm going to click here on design alignment. And this time we want this centered. All right. So now that we have this centered, let's go to our animation style. So I'm going to come over here. And this time we need a fold. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that. And then our, our animation direction is going to be center. And then the duration is going to be a thousand. So here we're just changing the duration and you can just play around with these um, until you're happy with the duration and also the delay. So the delay there, I'm going to set it to 2000 and our animation intensity. Uh, this is going to be also 400. So I'm going to come over here, set this to 400 and our opacity is fine at 100. OK, so I'm going to save that. And pretty much that's our style. Now, I will be able to uh, show you all these once I save the page and exit. So uh, the animation only shows while I'm actually making the changes. All right. So now that that's done, let's move on to the next one. And um, and this one here is going to be slightly a bit advanced. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to duplicate uh, what we have here on the top. And then I'm just going to start working on it. So what we need to do here is to go into the column settings. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon and I'm going to start with going into column two settings. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon and then I'm going to go into design. And here we need to go into the animation style. So I'm going to click here on animation and our animation style here is going to be bounce. And uh, we're also going to set our animation direction and set it to down. And then we're also going to set our animation delay. We're going to set this to 2000. Okay. And then our animation starting opacity to 100. In fact, it's the animation delay that needs to be 2000 here. So make sure you set this to 2000 and just leave this as the default. All right. So now that we have this, we're going to add a perspective to our main element. So we're going to come over here to advanced, custom CSS, and we're going to add our perspective of 100 and 50. So now with that all set, I'm going to save this and save it one more time. And this time we're going to go into the button settings. So I'm going to go in here and uh, let's head over straight to our animation. So I'm going to click here on design animation. And here we're going to use an, a style, which is flip. So I'm going to choose flip. And then I am going to set my animation direction to center. And then I need to go straight to my animation duration. And here we're going to set it to 1500. So I'm going to go in and set this to 1500. And then here we need to set the delay to 1000. And for our intensity here, we're just going to go crazy and set this to 400%. There we go. All right. So moving on, the start opacity is going to be 100%. And pretty much that is our style. So we're going to go ahead and save this. So I think you can see where I'm going with this. Uh, the idea here is to go in and just uh, change the um, the animation styles of each and every item here, especially here on the button, because this is where we get our styles. So as a matter of fact, as I'm going through all this, it's pretty much a repetition of what I'm doing here and just changing the perspective and also changing, you know, the animation type to roll or flip or bounce or fold, zoom, and so on. So these are the ones that you need to go in and play around with. But of course, these are the different styles. So I'm just going to save this and I'll let you get creative and continue and come up with your designs. So let's just take a quick look at what I've done so far here. So I'm going to close this, save all changes. I know our header is going to look very crazy here, but uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and take a look. So I'm going to go here to visit site. Now, remember, our template here is the 404. So I'm just going to go to a page that doesn't exist on my site. And this is what's going to show. So these are the different types of headers. As you can see here, they're bouncing. And the animations are all there. So if you want to see the animations one more time, I can just refresh here. And once the page finishes loading, you're going to see all the styles. There we go. And those are the animations. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.